What's going on, people? It's your grandfather. This is going to be a real quick video. I recently made a video on Donald Trump and why I feel he's not a good presidential nominee. Turned out to be an insanely crazy long video because information kept popping up every day. Now, I'm going to try to keep this one short while I tell you my pros and cons about the other presidential nominees. Let's talk about it. Haha, <laughs> I got something to say for the people. I got some information. It might start an uprising, but it's informed and enlightened. Come on, for show. Sure. This is information for the people. You can like it, you can like it, you can like it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You keep it to yourself or give it away. I'd rather give it away because this is information for the people, for show. Sure. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part day you find yourself in. I love you. It's your grandfather, people, and I'm spinning from the top of my head again. I try to do things in a different kind of way, read from papers, stuff like that. That's not my style. I started sounding like a robot, so now I'm back, and I'm going to just talk about my feelings about certain issues. Now, with that being said, first I want to talk about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is filled with deception, manipulation. <laughs> she got a lot of shadiness in her past, but this I know about Hillary she want that president so bad, and she want to keep it, she going to do what she needs to do for the country in order to hold on to that position. I told people way back when Bill was president, when people used to say Bill was a black president, I told you he was the worst thing to happen to black people since slavery. <laughs> he wasn't that bad, but he was almost as bad. Now, with that being said, as I said, Hillary going to do what she feel is good for, good, good for Hillary. Which going to turn out to be what's good for you and I. Because she's not trying to lose this presidential nomination. And she's not trying to lose her money. <laughs> it's the truth. So in order for her to keep that and, you know, and do what she needs to do to stay in that position. Or to get that position in the first place. She going to do what's necessary for the people. And I think she really do got a good heart somewhere deep down in that witch's cauldron of a body. <laughs> but I do think she got a good heart And I think she is concerned about the issues And that's my opinion on it I say what I said about that Bernie Sanders, he my man I like Bernie Sanders But he's making a lot of promises he's not going to be able to keep He's saying a lot of things that's just not going He's just not going to be able to enact Much like Barack Obama had some ideas When he first came to office And they quickly showed him how much power he truly had and the same thing's going to go on with Bernie Sanders. He got a lot of pipe dreams. And I really don't think he got the backbone to run against Trump. That's my opinion, people. I'm just telling you how I feel about it. I know he's a good man. He got well intent. But I don't think he could get the things done that he has set in his mind that he believes he wants to happen. Because a lot of people going to be against him. They're going to be shoving vetoes in his face. Putting X's on things and tossing them in the garbage. And Bernie gonna be like, I can't do nothing in here. Barack Obama should talk to him and tell him, you got pipe dreams. They're not gonna work out well for you. <laughs> now, with that being said, I said this was gonna be a quick video. I'm not, I'm not really hitting these points hard. I just gave you my opinion on certain issues and how I feel about them. I wanna talk about one more thing with you. I wanna talk about the love I have for you. And how your well-being is always a concern of mine. I really haven't been speaking about the spiritual side of my life. And that's about to change, people. I'm about to share with you some spiritual things. This is not to transform you. Or to have you believe in something you choose not to believe in. I want the people that... I want all people to be able to feel like they can come to me and share anything they want. But for my well-being, people... And sometimes it is about me. I'm going to have to start... Placing my God in the midst of these conversations. Alright? Now, that's not to alienate nobody. I want to give you one quick point about the God I serve. He loves everybody. No matter what you choose to do in your life or how you choose to do it. He do set up certain standards and he has certain guidelines. But most of the time people don't follow him anyway. But know that they're there. And you will have to answer for the things that you do here on earth. Now I said that to say this. The world want to constantly tell you that the Lord that I serve 
always putting boundaries and locking you in. But I'm going to tell you something. He is the only one that doesn't commit you to anything. The world will commit you and judge you and, 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 and have an opinion about you, about every little thing you do. The Father will welcome you as you are. Now, said that, I'm not going to beat that in the head. That's just my opinion on certain things. I'm going to tell you, I love you. Your well-being is always concerned of mine. So if it means giving you some information you might not want to hear in order to make you better, I'm going to start talking about it. Really quick, people, I really haven't been pushing my videos. i just been allowing the Lord to move this thing the way he wanted to move. But the Lord helped those who helped themselves. So with that being said, you can find me here on YouTube at Daryl Skur. That's D-A-R-R-Y-L-S-C-U-R. That's D-A-R-R-Y-L-S-C-U-R. You also find me at the, under the same name on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I got a Google Plus page too, people. So you can find me on any of those pages. It's your grandfather. I love you. Come like and subscribe. Peace. Have a blessed day.